Now there are two powerhouse programs when it comes to flashcards and that's Anki and Quizlet. But the question is which one is actually better in 2025? Now I've used both apps for years and today I'm going to break down their key features and help you decide which one is best for you personally. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we compare these apps, let's quickly talk about why flashcards are so powerful. Now memory works best when you're actively recalling the information rather than just recognizing it. Now this is why rereading notes isn't actually very helpful and this is when flashcards come in handy. But both Quizlet and Anki use flashcards in slightly different ways and I'm gonna go over each of their strengths. So first, let's start with ease of use. I'm gonna have to give this one to Quizlet. Quizlet is like the better looking younger brother and I find its interface to be much more appealing and not intimidating. And the colors that they use along with the modern look make it very inviting. When you go to the home screen for each deck, you will immediately notice the simple buttons and programs that you can use. And the best part is to use Quizlet, all you have to do is go to their website, make an account using your email, and then you were good to go. There's virtually no setup. On the other hand, Anki is much more difficult to set up and the interface is outdated and setting up your first deck can be a little confusing if you're new. However, once you get past the learning curve, Anki offers some really nice advantages. Now there's a lot to Anki, so I have a video linked below on how to use and set up Anki if you have any trouble. Let's move on to features. I would say Anki and Quizlet are actually both tied. With Anki, you can fully customize your cards, you can add pictures, audio, and you can even download add-ons that improve its function. The cool part is that it's open source, so if you think of a helpful feature, chances are somebody has already made an add-on for it. One of my favorite add-ons is called Image Occlusion, and it allows me to cover the terms and pictures, which makes them into flashcards. With Quizlet, however, you need premium to even upload your own photos, and you cannot cover terms like you can with Anki. Now, Quizlet has fewer customization options. However, it does have different study modes like Learn, which is when Quizlet adjusts its questions based off your responses, and it's kind of similar to Anki's spaced repetition. It also has a mode where you can write out the answers, which is really helpful if you're trying to learn a language or even trying to learn anatomy term. I think the coolest feature about Quizlet is the ability to make tests and that makes studying way more interactive and a little bit less painful. There's a lot of games that you can play like Blocks and Blast and all of this is important because any chance that studying can be fun is a huge bonus. What's interesting is Quizlet even has an AI feature that can turn your notes into flashcards instantly along with an AI coach. Unfortunately, you will have to pay for this feature as well. Now the most important thing is retention. If your goal is to retain information for long term, Anki is the clear winner here. This is because Anki has a secret sauce of learning known as spaced repetition. Spaced repetition helps you review at the right interval so that your brain locks in the information. When you start to forget a flashcard, the program has you review it. Now this is done to combat the dreaded forgetting curve. The forgetting curve is basically a theory that shows how there is a decline in retention with time in that you need to consistently review your flashcards in intervals. Quizlet used to have a free space repetition program, but now it's limited and you need to purchase Quizlet Plus. Without it, Quizlet study methods aren't as effective for long-term memory. If you just need to cram for a test, Quizlet works fine, but if you want to remember information for years or for tests that are a couple months away, Anki really is the way to go. I just think that especially once you reach over a couple hundred flashcards, you really need to be using Anki because it's much more efficient. Now we're moving on to cost because that's true, we're all broke college students. So Anki is completely free on desktop and Android. The only cost is for iOS users who must pay 25 smackaroonies for the mobile app. I recommend purchasing the iOS app if you use Anki consistently because having your flashcards ready to go in your pocket is really helpful. Quizlet, on the other hand, has moved towards the subscription model. While you can start for free, many of the features like space repetition require Quizlet Plus, which costs $8 a month. If you don't pay, you'll see ads, which can be pretty distracting. Try focusing on flashcards when random ads are playing. It can be a little painful at times. So which one is best for you? So I recommend Anki if you really want to study flashcards for long-term memory and you're willing to accept the learning curve. Now it may be confusing at first but y'all I promise it will become second nature and you will be glad that you chose it. Quizlet is great if you want a user-friendly experience. It's a lot more friendly and it's fun and it's involved but remember that if you do not pay for Quizlet Plus it is actually pretty limited especially for long-term memory. To summarize I think Quizlet as being good at a lot of things and Anki being really good at one thing which is flashcards. It really is up to personal preference. Look at where you are in your education. If you're in high school, Quizlet might be just fine, but if you're in nursing school, trying to learn a language, or in med school, I highly recommend checking out Anki. That will do it for today everyone. If you really liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Make sure to study hard, stay sharp, and I'll see you guys next time.